Recently, I've received a series of questions by my viewers to make a complete tutorial on how to navigate Binance, how to trade on Binance, and how to make money on Binance. So, because of this, I'm going to hold you by the hands now and show you step by step how to trade on Binance, how to navigate Binance as a complete beginner. So, this is a crash course, and this might be the only video that you need as a complete beginner to learn how to trade on Binance and earn money for yourself. So, if you want to learn how to trade and start making money every single day on Binance, this is the video that you need because I'm going to lead you step by step, and no stone will be left unturned, guys. So enjoy and if you do get value feel free to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel and pin that bell icon so you will always be notified when i make awesome videos like this i make videos on how to make money online so stay with me Welcome back smart money earners. In case you are new to my channel, my name is Austin and I show you smart ways to make money from the internet space, especially through trading the financial market. So if you are interested in making money by trading, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and pin that bell icon so you will always be the first to be notified when I make wonderful videos on how to make money online. So in this video now I'm going to show you all of this to know how this works, how to sign up on Binance, how to get your account verified, how to start trading, how to buy crypto, how to swap this crypto and how to trade P2P, how to sell your crypto and how to withdraw. All of this I'm going to show you. So take up your coffee cup, sit back and enjoy this tutorial. And in case you want to skip ahead, you can follow the timestamp below and you can jump to any section that you feel like you want to get straight to. So let's start from the first and sign up. If you want to sign up on Binance, follow the link, the first link in the description box. And if you follow that link, you're going to be getting a sign up bonus. When you follow the link in the description box, you're going to make a deposit of at least $50 and you'll be getting $50 sign up bonus. All right. So once you follow that link, you'll be redirected to this page and you can see that you'll be able to claim 100 USD cashback voucher. This is a sign up bonus that you will get if you sign up with the link in the description box and if you do not sign up with that link you will miss this but before you can get this 100 USD you ensure that you make a deposit of more than $50 within 14 days after registration so if you are ready to do this now then hit the sign up and you'll be redirected to this page so either you click on get started or you click on register anyone will serve and then you will begin your registration either you continue with your with Google account or you enter your email so I'm going to tap on sign up with email put your email here or you can switch to phone number if you're registering with phone number you put your country code here then put the phone number and then your password I'm going to be registering with email so once you have put your email here and the password go ahead and check all of this and then you go ahead and click on create personal account immediately you hit submit you're going to be sent an email verification code so go to email and copy the code put it here and then hit submit and this is my email and this is the code that you need to copy just click on it and copy so now press to paste the code and then hit submit the account is created successfully so the next thing is to make a deposit meanwhile you can actually go to play store or app store if you're an iphone user and download the binance application since you have registered already so the next thing is to download your binance application now and sign in or log in with the email and password you created so here all you need to do now is to click on login you do not need to sign up again so put the email here put the password and then click on login you'll get an email verification so click on get code so go to email now and get the code just copy and paste and then hit submit now having logged in through the application now the next thing is to verify your account so when you click on this avatar over here you can see unverified and once you click on the unverified now you'll be led to the verification dashboard so on the login page you can get your account verified with either of these documents any of these or all of these documents personal information government issued id and facial recognition but guess what guys for now you can be verified on binance if you do not have an international passport or a plastic id but now currently you can be verified without uploading any plastic id and you can start trading up to fifty thousand dollars per single day so if you're from nigeria leave it on this and then what you want to do is to go ahead and click on start now and we're going to see how to do this step by step on the first page now you fill in your personal information the country you're from and in this case i'll select nigeria and once you've done that go ahead and put your legal name the way it is on your plastic id in case you want to upload it then put your last name then your date of birth and i, I believe this is self-explanatory then go ahead and click on continue and on this page now you will put your full address and your postal code then put your city and you continue then go ahead and click on continue so the next page now you can now put your bank verification number interestingly guys before now this is the place that hooks so many beginners and they cannot go ahead to start trading on binance before now you need to upload a plastic id here but currently you can use bvn just your bvn your bank verification number to activate this and get verified or you use your nin very very interesting time right so click on bvn i'll just go ahead and put bvn and get verified so enter the bvn click that you have read and accepted the privacy policy then you click on continue so the verification is ongoing and you can see the next thing now is to place your face on this once you place your face you will blink your eye and you click i'm ready just click on i'm ready and you place your 
face over there and get it captured all right once it is captured you will be verified so let's go there you can see the face has been captured and the verification is completed then you can now close and you see the verification is now under review and you get a feedback within two working days in case you are enjoying this video to this length and are yet to smash the like button please feel free to smash the like button to actually trigger the algorithm to make this video visible to others who need it like you on youtube right here and once you are verified you can go ahead and click on verified plus if you want to increase your daily limit but that is unavailable now because this particular verification is still under review once it's completely reviewed then you can go ahead and do other verification then the next thing you want to see now is to um, check on this so that as a beginner you can now view the binance light if you want to only buy and hold crypto you will see that over here on binance light you see that the features are very very few you will see your wallet and you will see um exchange where you will buy and deposit crypto you deposit and buy crypto and then you see market so you see different cryptocurrencies you can buy but on the other hand when you click on this avatar again and select this to binance pro you will now see the advanced options that you can now start trading with when you are more advanced in trading now that you are verified on your first cryptocurrency exchange binance the next thing you want to do is to make a deposit so that you will be able to buy cryptocurrency so if you want to make a deposit you can see deposit over here so i'm going to show you three methods of making deposit on binance you can make deposit either with a credit card or you go with p2p or you come over here this is the first one deposit engine if you're from nigeria meanwhile you can see deposit with card if you're from other countries so click on deposit with engine this is the first method then select the currency you want to deposit there are diver currencies from different countries of the world available here so once you choose the one you want to deposit then you go ahead and proceed so i want to deposit nigerian naira so i'll go ahead with bank transfer you can also go with e-wallet anyone you like go ahead with it then if i choose bank transfer the next thing you click on continue and then come over here to meanwhile i have added my bank account over here the next thing you're going to see once you've done once you pass the previous step is to add your bank account you can see my account number over here and i put my the name of my bank once you have done that you will see the option of entry the amount you want to deposit right so let me say twelve thousand naira. so this is twelve thousand naira. so if you want to deposit twelve thousand naira, the next thing you will do is to click on continue so because i do not want to continue this i don't want to make this deposit i'm not going to click on continue so if you want to complete this deposit you can go ahead and click on continue and you make your deposit so the next thing i'm going to show you how to make your deposit with p2p so p2p means peer-to-peer -peer trading where you buy from a fellow trader on binance here and you send nigerian naira or whatever country currency to the person so once you click on p2p on the home page remember this is p2p over here click on it and you see by usd there are two different kinds of coins for a beginner we have the stable coin and the coins that the prices change stable coins the prices don't change and we have usd and busd please pay attention to this if you want to start trading the coin you want to deposit here will be usd this is how you buy busd busd means binance us dollar right usd means theta us dollar anyone you buy the price will not fluctuate all right so if i want to buy from this merchant you can now see that one dollar one usd will amount to 750.18 so if you want to buy 10 usdt what you do is multiply 750.18 by 10 it will give you 700 to give you 7500 plus that is the amount you're going to send to this merchant if this person you're buying from then what you will do is to click on buy and you will see where to enter the amount you want to buy let's say 7518 the minimum this person is selling is this so you will go ahead and select click on filter to select the amount that you want to trade with and once you select let's say 12,000 naira it's going to show you those that are trading with 12,000 naira and above you can select you want to see from both merchant and non-merchant then confirm then once you see this you can now click on buy remember to check the payment methods and the terms and conditions put the amount 12,000 naira and then go ahead and click on buy with zero fee once you click on buy with zero fee it will open you copy the person's account number and send him money through the account number that is seen here once you send him the money come back and click i have made payment and he will credit you meanwhile i'm not going to do it practically because of the length of this video there is a dedicated video on p2p trading and i will leave a link to that video in the description box or you look up to the right although it will distract you so after this video i'll leave it on the screen so you just click on it and watch all right so that's how to make a deposit using peer to peer the third method of making a deposit on your cryptocurrency exchange binance now is to click on deposit and you select the coin you want to deposit and i have told you we have usdt and busd meanwhile if you want to use this method this method is just crypto transfer if you have a friend who wants to send you cryptocurrency let's say usdt you click on deposit remember just click on deposit and select the coin that you want to receive then in that case you will be receiving usdt so click on usdt and then go down and ask that your friend which network does he want to send the money from this will tell your friend that you are not a beginner in cryptocurrency trading so if he tells you normally usdt 
TRC20. TRC20 is the that is the Tron network is the most popular network used for USDT transactions. So select the TRC20 network and then copy the address. Now what this means is that when each network that you select will have a different address. Now take a look at the address that will be provided here. It starts with TU and ends with RF4. Now take a look at the address that BEP20 or ERC20 will provide. Check ERC20 now. You see it starts with 0 and ends with FC. So if you copy this address and your friend sends the money with TRC20, the money will be lost. Nothing you can do to recover it. So ensure you use the same network from here and then tell your friend that you copied USD TRC20 address. Copy this and send to the person or to the exchange or any other platform you want to make the transfer from. And because it is a rece receiver address, you clicked on deposit, the money will arrive on your Binance wallet. With that, you have money with which to start buying and selling cryptocurrency. Now, the next thing what you want to do now is to buy your first cryptocurrency. Interesting, right? So go ahead and smash the like button. So there are three methods you can apply to buy cryptocurrency or your first cryptocurrency on Binance. And the first method will be to buy with card. If you have a credit card, just click on buy with NG. And if you're from Nigeria, if you're from the United States, you will see buy with, uh, buy with USD. All right. So once you put the amount, you can come over here. Just come over here and select. click on this arrow to select the coin you want to buy. And let's say I want to buy USD. This is a cryptocurrency or you can say you want to buy Bitcoin, Bitcoin, BTC. You can just say you want to buy BTC. You select BTC and then on this place you check the amount of BTC you want to buy. So in this place, write out the amount NGN worth of BTC that you want to buy. Take for instance, let's say I want to buy 100,000 Naira worth of Bitcoin. This is 100,000 Naira worth of Bitcoin. And once I select this, the next thing will be to go ahead and click on buy Bitcoin. So if you have clicked on buy Bitcoin and the next thing you're going to see is buy with card. Either your Visa card or your MasterCard, you can see that that 100,000 Naira will give me 0.0057 at the current price of Bitcoin on Binance now. So if I click on confirm now, it will prompt the place where I will put my MasterCard um, number. So the next thing you want to do now is to enter the card number, put the month and the three digit at the last app, then put your address and click on confirm. And ensure that the name in the Binance card is the same name that you use in registering on Binance here. So once you have done that, click on confirm and the crypto will be purchased automatically. All right. So the second method of buying crypto, your very first crypto is to go with P2P as I showed you before. It's not only USDT that you can buy on P2P page. You can buy Bitcoin, click on Bitcoin, you buy from the merchant over here, click on BNB or Ethereum ETH, you can buy from merchants, just send the money to their bank account and they will credit you. That video I made on P2P is a practical guide that will help you to do this. Then the third method of buying crypto, your very first crypto on Binance is through spot trading. So to buy your first cryptocurrency through spot trading, what you will now do is to go to market or you go to trade. If you go to market, you will see a list of cryptocurrencies that are available and you will see spot here. Remember, on the difference between spot and futures is that if you buy any coin on, on, this, on the spot market, even if the value drops, you still have the coin in your wallet and you can sell it later on when the price might have gone up and you have your money back. But on futures, if you buy and the price goes down, the value of your money will also go down until it can actually vanish away. Meanwhile, if the other way around, the value of your money can be tripled within a few minutes. But on spot, if you buy and the value increases by 10%, you just have 10% increase. But here you can use leverage to increase or multiply your own 10% by 50 or 100 or thereabout. So on spot trading now, you can select the coin, the, the coin pair you want to use. That is the stable coin you want to trade with. So either you have USDT, which you have funded with, or you have Bitcoin, or you have BUSD. But as a beginner, I encourage you to use, or I recommend that you should use USDT or BUSD. So if you have USDT, just select USDT. Remember you have selected spot. The next thing is select the coin you want to use and buy. So you want to use USDT and buy any of the coins here. Let's say what the coin you want to buy is ETH. If you don't see it here, just type on this place ETH, and you will see ETH against USDT. Search until you see ETH against USDT. This is the pair that you want to trade because you have USDT. You can't choose any pair that has BNB because you don't have him. So select the one that has that the currency that you have. So this is ETH against USDT. The next thing you want to do, this is spot trading. So you do not need to analyze the chart. Go straight to buy and click on buy. You select the amount of ETH you want to buy. On this place, make sure you select market order. Click on it and then select market. Now this limit order means that you want to set a certain price at which the, the order will be filled. 
the current price is $1,604. Maybe you want to buy it at $1,600. Then you set it like all these others you are seeing here. This is the other book. This is the price that some traders are willing to buy at. And this is the price that some others traders are willing to sell at. That is the bid and ask prices. So that is what limit price means. Then what you want to start with is market order. So select market order. Market order means that immediately you click on buy, it will be executed at the current market price without delay. So let's go ahead and click on, let's say 50% percent of the amount in a of in our account you can take a look at this if you want to use the whole money you have to buy it or any cryptocurrency you've selected then you click on 100 percent and you will use 100 percent of the money you have to buy but if you do not want to do that you can just switch here to select 50 percent 75 percent or thereabout or you go ahead and select the amount of bitcoin you want to buy let's say 0.05 bitcoin and then you go ahead and click on buy it so Remember, sorry, not Bitcoin, but it in this case. Remember, the minimum amount you can trade at a particular time is $10 on Binance. Less than $10, you cannot trade, you cannot buy, you cannot sell with it, all right? So, for instance, buy $0.05 worth of Ethereum. If you want to know the amount of money you will spend, click on Limit Order. Then come over here and select the amount you wish to spend, let's say $50, and you will see the amount of cryptocurrency that $50 will purchase. Then copy it and then go to Market Order. Click on Market Order and then put the amount of crypto you want to buy. Once you put it there, go ahead and click on buy. This is successful, right? So, so when you go to your wallet now, move like this, you will switch to the spot wallet. And then with that, you will be able to see the cryptocurrency that you bought. This is your spot wallet. All the coins you have will appear here. And if you want to transfer from here to funding wallet, you can always click on transfer and you have your money in the funding wallet in case you want to withdraw. The reverse is the case when you have funded, the money will be in the funding account. But if you want to trade with it, you click on transfer and send it from you send it from the funding account over to spot account. Come over here and select USDT because that is what you funded. So once I've done that, you select the amount, put the amount here and click on confirm, confirm transfer. That is what you will do before you come over here and trade. So now that you have seen how to buy your first crypto currency i want you to seize this opportunity to smash the like button now if you want to see the coins that you have bought you can click on this because i try i actually hide the balance so if you want to see it you click on this to see that so i just unchecked it now you can see this is the amount of it that we have it actually added to the amount of it that i have before now in case you want to see some technical sports trading strategies then you may want to watch my previous tutorial dedicated on spot trading strategies that will earn you up to $100 a day. So I will leave the link in the description box or you look up and watch it with the card showing up by the right. So let's go straight to the next option now, how to convert crypto from one crypto to another. So if you want to convert, you click on this. This is convert over here in case it is not available on your own. If you cannot find it on your own, all you need to do is to click on more over here. Once you click on more, you can now arrange the icons that you want to see on the home page by clicking on this. You can check anyone you tap on will disappear. So if you want to add this one to the home page, you just click on it and it will show here. So I've added convert. If your one is not on the home page, you click on this and add it to the home page. So click on convert now. And now I have Ethereum ETH or let me convert my BUSD to USDT all right in case you do not want to trade it if you want to like I have BUSD now if I want to change it to USDT I can just go to spot market and sell it if I click on trade trade I will select BUSD USDT or USDT BUSD look at it I will have USDT against BUSD check a look at it now it should be here okay let's check BUSD against USDT okay maybe this pair is no longer available on Binance so if it is not available okay it's available I made a mistake by putting T there before so this is BUSD against USDT so click on it if you click on it you will sell your BUSD now and what you now have will be USDT but I don't want to do that let me show you how to convert just click on convert and it will not cost you any fee so let me convert from busd to usdt over here so select usdt over here that means i will convert from BUSD to usd then select the amount you want to convert and i want to convert 100 busd to usdt so click on this now to preview preview conversion and you see what it will give me 99.97 that is 0.03 will be charged then click on convert and this will be done successfully Auto expired refresh so refresh and then make sure you convert within the time limit so the conversion is successful and my 100 BUSD is now worth 99.97. Then click on this to go back home and you see that I now have more USDT than BUSD unlike before. So the next thing you want to do now is to sell the crypto that you have and make some money. In case you bought cryptocurrency at $10 and the value is now, now $100. All you want to do is just to click on trades 
then come over here and select that cryptocurrency that you want to trade let's say you want to trade eth against usdt then select eth against usdt and then go ahead and click on sell so to sell the coin that you have now you can either go with limit order or market order so for limit order let's say you want to sell the coin at 1615 all you will do is to go ahead and set the price at 1615 and then you select the amount of crypto that you want to sell let's say you want to sell 50 percent then you check that or you just put the price that you want to get let's say you want to get 50.5 dollars and then once you have done that you go ahead and put now the 50.38 you are seeing is um amount i will get after the transaction fee is deducted all right so if you click on sell it will appear down here as you can see it is now under this place what it means is that once the price gets to 1615 dollars for one ethereum this my order will be filled automatically and i will have my usdt in my spot wallet all right but i don't want to do this now then i will click on cancel and this order will be cancelled automatically and what you now do is to go to market order in case you need money urgently and you want to sell a market order you just click on well you may want to know more about this to know what stop limit means trailing stop and oco i explained this in a video i made previously and i will leave a link to it in the description box so later you go to the description of this video and select go through the recommended videos and you'll see all of them there so go to market click on market and then you select usdt so i want to get 50.1 dollars right now or let's say 50.3 so go ahead and click on sell and you see that 50.3 dollars worth of um eight ethereum has been sold and i now have that amount in my spot wallet this is also it's also verifiable here as you can see that the amount of it available here has dropped to for nine dollars because i sold now the next thing you may want to do now is to make a withdrawal from binance to your bank account this is a tutorial that you will be very very interested in so in case you want to make a withdrawal right now what you will do maybe to a crypto exchange or to a crypto wallet what you will do is to click on withdrawal then select the coin that you want to withdraw let's say you want to withdraw usdt or eth whatever coin it is you select it or you come over here and set let's say for instance bnb let's say i want to withdraw bnb i'll just click on bnb and then send via crypto network so once you select send via crypto network then you go to the exchange you want to send this money to and copy the address the address you are going to copy should be the address that is available on binance check the network here that is available you see that bp network is available you can also check the transaction fee for each network so you select bp network which is available on binance here and then go to exchange now copy the bp ad address if and only if it is bnb that is in question then come and paste it over here and put the amount you want to send to that address once you put it click on withdraw and you you put your verification code from your email and your sms if you check that or google authenticator and the money will be sent over to the exchange or the wallet or the person you are sending the money to all right so the next thing you want to do now is maybe you want to withdraw money to your bank account which you'll be very much interested in what you will do is to click on wallet once you click on wallet ensure that you send the money from your spot wallet to your funding wallet else you cannot withdraw to your bank account so click on transfer right now and let's say you want to transfer usdt so from your spot wallet your funding wallet select this so that you select usdt now and ensure that spot wallet is above and funding wallet is below because that's where you're sending it to let's say you want to transfer 100 usdt to your bank account then you click on confirm transfer and then this money will now be available in the funding wallet click on funding over here and you will now see you now see that on funding wallet i now have 100 usdt so what you do now in order for you to get this money in your bank account if you are from nigeria you can go to p2p so you want to sell this usdt now for ng and that is nigeria naira you click on p2p trading and once you click on p2p trading you come over to this place and select sell when you click on sell you go to filter and select the amount you want to get let's say you want to get 100 if it is 100 usd that is in question it means that you will be getting around 74,000 naira. so you select 74,000 naira and click on uncheck this and then click on confirm then you see merchants that are buying usd worth 74,000 naira. so once you click on sell on any of them then you'll be able to put the amount you want to sell to him and then put the bank account you will be able to add your bank account here this is what it will show you if it is the first time you will click on this to add payment method so click on add bank account this is where you click on when you click on add bank account then you'll be able to you, your name will appear here automatically 
then put bank account number and then put the bank name and this is optional once you've done that you confirm and then that will appear here once you select payment method and then you put them and click on sell with zero fee the person this trader will send the money to your nigerian bank account or whichever country you're watching from and once that happens you come over here and click on receive because you will now see release crypto meanwhile a dedicated video on p2p trading is showing at the left hand side right now and on the right hand side you will see spot trading strategies that will guide you to start earning at least hundred dollars every single day so click on any of them and the links are also in the description box let's see in the next video